it is important to teach children that violence is a fruitless approach to solving problems, any problem for that matter. The use of violence and force inevitably entails unanticipated consequences and is rarely any solution. Never taking children who hit out of school is step one. It is a gift to the violent child, a vacation. They must be put into a separate room, but still required of school. Immediate and swift juvenile justice. Consequences for the actions within 72 hours of the actions. So the developing brain connects the action with the consequence. Else there's no point in following through. It's the same with puppies. Sorry to draw that conclusion, but a young brain of any mammal must be able to draw the consequence and action together. If you spank the puppy eight hours after they've messed the floor, they don't see the consequence and the action being related. If a punishment comes six months after the action, the child does not relate the one to the other. That is the problem with the United States juvenile justice system. There are some counties in some states that do rapid justice, which means the sentencing occurs within 96 hours, regardless of weekends and holidays. The judge is always there. Those children in those counties do not repeat a thing because they can see the logical conclusion. If I do this, that will happen. It would be much better if children grew up accustomed to the idea that the proper way to resolve problems is through dialogue, through reaching a mutually agreeable solution. And that means seeing it at home. No domestic violence in the home. Start arrest programs as soon as the child is born so no violence is witnessed ever in the home. You may wonder, why now am I stressing domestic violence and violence in relation to children? It is full. Children starting school is the greatest time when violence occurs. Unfortunately, children not going to the physical school means that we will have continued abuse of children undiscovered. We know that the children are being abused, but there is no contact with them so it can be discovered. That is one of the greatest problems with this out-of-school teaching. There is no opportunity for the teacher to communicate privately with the child so the child can say, help me, please, please, help me. And there cannot be home visits of past cases of abuse, especially if the parents are unemployed. They would never leave the child alone with another adult, ever. Also, in the fall, when the child goes away to school, that is when the mum goes and finds other shelter for her and the children, and when she will take the children and leave him. It is usually the first time 
he abuses the child, that she will take all the children and leave. But that is when she and they are at greatest risk for murder. When she tries to leave, that is when he kills her. There's no other way to say that. They are at greatest risk and need the most assistance from the community when they try to leave the situation. You wonder, why doesn't she ever leave him? Why does she stay? Because when she tries to leave, he tries to kill her, or he kills the dog in front of her to terrorize the children, or he kills the neighbor's cats and skins them alive in front of them so that she never will try again. Or that's when she kills him in his sleep. That is why fall is such a dangerous time. And that is why now I teach on domestic violence and domestic abuse. And why I call upon all of you every day, every night, if you suspect anything, make the call. You can remain anonymous. When you call 911 and they say, what is your name? Say anonymous. And that is what they put in the call, anonymous. But you are saving lives every time. Rest assured, if you do not call, you are committing a sin against God. You are committing a sin against that woman and against those children. So long as the windows are open, you can hear the abuse. Use this time to save their lives. Let them know that you will help them in any way possible. Let them know to call you at any time. And may the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord give you peace. And may the Lord and his angels give you the wings to pick them up as they leave and as you take them to the shelter. Amen.